Alternative way to compute the cost of goods sold and prepare the income statement. So far, we studied the traditional way to compute the COGS and prepare the top part of the income statement. In this lesson, we shall study an alternative, more modern way. Here is a typical income statement with the top part, the top part here called the trading account, in its traditional form. The COGS are computed as purchases, 6,000, minus the difference between closing stocks and opening stock. In this example, that yields 6,000 minus 3,500 minus 2,500, that is altogether 5,000. The COGS are 5,000, the sales are 12,000, the gross profit, also called gross margin, is 7,000. Here we talk about the opening stock or stocks. Well, the opening stock of the accounting cycle is simply the closing stock of the previous cycle. So in this example, we are no longer in the first cycle of the life of the firm, but in another one in a subsequent year. Then we record all along the cycle the purchases without worrying what we sell or not. That's the traditional accounting procedure. And then we make a final inventory and the COGS is, as the name says, the cost of goods actually sold. It is necessarily the purchases minus any increase in inventory or plus any decrease in inventory. Remember the special character of the sales account. Here is a naive representation of a sale a transaction. Goods leave the firm from the stocks and go to the rest of the world and money in payment of the goods leave the rest of the world and comes into the firm. But in a sale, we cannot just debit the cash account or whatever account receives the payment and credit the inventory of goods. Why? Because the two legs are unequal, that is, have uh, different values because the sale transaction is the fundamental uh, element of activity which generates profit. So we create this special account sales which is credited in a sale and at the end of the year we compute the value in debit of the goods sold. And we have the formula gross margin equals sales minus cogs which is implicitly calculated in the income statement. But the sales account is special, and so is the COGS account. These two accounts are special accounts created by Italian merchants uh, eight centuries ago in order to compute the profit. First of all, the gross profit, to which we shall subtract various other charges of the year and compute eventually the income, the income of the year, the net income. The computation of the COGS leads also neatly to a new value of stock in the balance sheet through the adjustment that we studied. Uh, these adjustments consist in opening two accounts, one called closing stock IS, that will be credited the final inventory value, and closing stock BS, that will be debited the same value. Let's follow the procedure with items. Suppose the shop buys clothes, all the same, 50 euros a piece, and sells them 120 euros a piece. And suppose our opening stock is 50 items, the value of which is 2,500 euros. During the year, we purchase 120 items, that's a purchase a value of 6,000 euros, and we sell during this year, our accounting cycle, 100 items, value of the sales, 12,000 euros of sales, and money or value of that amount flowed into the firm. And the closing stock necessarily will be 70 items because we had at the beginning 50 items, we purchase 120 and sell 100. So the closing stock increases by 20 items, will be 70 items, value for us, 
3,500 euros. The cost of these 100 items sold is 50 euros multiplied by 100 equal 5,000 euros and is nicely computed uh, with the formula COX equal purchases minus variation in stocks, which is implicitly represented in this presentation. So what is the alternative way to record COGS? We shall see that we shall have no more purchases account. Purchases account, sorry. We shall have only one stock account and we shall have a COGS account all along the accounting cycle. So on, on the one hand, whenever we buy a cloth, we debit the stock account, uh, the value of the cloth, 50 euros, and we credit whichever account we pay with, cash or check or an IOU to the supplier of cloth. And on the other hand, whenever we make a sale, it's a bit more involved, we debit whichever account receives value, and we sell one cloth is 120 euros, and we credit, as we saw, the sales account, 120 euros, and at the same time, we credit the stock account, the value of the cloth leaving, 50 euros, and we debit the COGS account, 50 euros, so that later on, sales and COGS will appear in the trading account and will yield the gross profit of the year. So at the end of the accounting cycle, not only do we have the sales figure, of course, but we, al we also have the COGS account that is already computed, and the stock account is ready too. In this alternative, more modern way, we have no more purchases account, no more adjustment for variation in inventory from the beginning to the end of the year, and the final legally required inventory is just a check.